Hello guys and welcome to today's weekly market review. Very excited to go through the list today. We've got quite a few pairs to go through today, so uh, I'm not gonna try to spend too much time on each. Just gonna go through uh, the basics, the fundamentals, the things you really have to know, and then moving on to the next one. So we're in the new year. January started off quite slow, at least for me. So we'll see what this week brings. We do have a lot of nice opportunities. So I do like what this week is uh, kind of setting up to be. Because uh, we had some breakouts at the end of last week. So when we, whenever we get a breakout, there's a lot of good opportunities that, that form. Because before these breakouts, what usually happens is we have a consolidation. So when the market is consolidating, you know, we're not going to see a lot of trades on strategy mode. Um, if you're an XMO trader, you know, that's a time when you kind of want to take less trades. We want to be trading trend, trending markets. So when these consolidations happen, you know, it's a, a lot of times it's very choppy. Or it's just, you know, the range is not too big enough to trade. So in those times, we just, you know, do nothing. We sit on our hands, we wait for the breakout. So we had a breakout on quite a few pairs last week. So now the market will give us some more opportunities throughout the week. Uh, hopefully, you know, we're not going to see too many consolidations. So yeah, I'm excited to see what this week will bring. The first trade we're going to be looking at today is AUD NZD. It's actually sitting right on the entry point um, at the time of this video. So you can see... AUD NZD right now it's sitting on, on the entry. Um, for me, this looks like a fine trade to take. By the time you're watching this, it might not be available anymore. Might have already played out, so I'm not quite sure, but this is a trade I would set up. Um, next up, we got uh, wheat on the equities US. This is another trade on the US market. And by the way, I'm just going through all this on our trades right now, so I can show you the good and the bad ones, and then um, kind of help you make decisions like that. So. Because I, I don't want to just show you the good ones. I want to show you everything. So then you can also learn how to, how to avoid bad trades. So this is weed on the one hour. Uh, it's a long setup, long BOC. And um, we, we had a nice pullback here. We had a nice pullback to the downside. And we had a big open to the upside. And we also created a gap here on this uh, weed stock. Um, uh, sorry, not weed. Canopy. So, but it, it says weed. Um, so we had the, we have this gap and it closed and opened it opened above or neutral above our support here. So we took out this previous high and we were staying above it right now, which is good. Uh, it shows us you know the buyers want to keep it above uh, thirty seven point five dollars. So this will be a really good really good entry here. You can see it already got rejected twice here. So hopefully hopefully we can get another rejection and then go up into a T piece. Uh, if you already got this entry here before I showed it, you already hit TP one. Maybe it'll come back down and we'll hit TB2. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Moving on to the next trade. Here we got USD JPY on the four hour. Uh, we uh, we're in a very interesting downtrend. So you can see we've been kind of playing this channel for quite some time. So, but you can see that the shorts they're playing out quite nicely. So uh, our entry will be here, and you can see the entry is above the trend line, right? So if we draw the channel, it's above the trend line, and that's because you know we're. We're not trading with the retails, you know, sometimes we are, of course, but if, if you would play this off the trend line, you know, your entry wouldn't be good because you can see on these trend lines, there's always these fake breakouts and it closes back below or above. And those are the kind of the, the places we want to enter. Um, so this, this will be a play like that. Um, hopefully we can take advantage of this, of this downtrend. Um, looks, looks quite fine for me. Um, as long as the local kind of stays, stays below the global, if you see the local overreaching a little bit on a, on a global, then I'll be more careful with this with this trade. But if you see it going into the global and then kind of projecting it, that's completely fine. But if the local does go too much too far above the global, then we can expect price to go a little higher. We do have uh, or extensions or stop losses, you know, at a very nice high up here. So it's, you know, it's a really, a really good stop loss placement. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it if it goes a little higher than they are which is to be expected because we do have really good resistance in between your extensions here. So between the extension one, extension two, you can see this is a really good level here. So price might jump back into that level and then pull back some, some liquidity from here and then push down. Um, so yeah, I think this is a fine trade. I would just watch the, the local for a little bit, make sure it doesn't overreach too much. So for example, this could happen, like what you see here, like this is totally fine. Like, you know, went up and then close back below. Um, but if it's, if you get it going over and over for, you know, a couple of days or for like a full week, then you want to be a little more careful. But for now, this looks um, fine. So here we have CAT CHF on the four hour chart. Uh, you can see it already went into that level once. So we already got the first entry and this is a um, long BOC on the four hours. So you can see here we had a uh, 
break of this level so with the break we're coming down for the retest and now we're looking for the continuation and yeah you might be able to expand expand this tp2 a little bit if you want uh, but this is still kind of a safe tp2 if you want to have a little lower and i mean in long long term this thing could go up all the way to to the resistance here but th this here is a much safer tp2 because we do see some resistance um in that level here so um, we do have some resistance over here. So I do believe this resistance is a great spot to have your TP. Overall, we're uptrending. So you can see the, the higher lows here. Uh, global's up, local's up. Everything is good. You can see the on the RTD, the global just crossed. Local um, went above two. So now we just need the local to gain some momentum and the local to stay like this. Um, yeah, looks looks good. I think this should be um, a decent trade. But again, you know, the, sometimes the best trades, you know, that can be losers. So we'll just let the market do its thing. Every trade is the same. Let's not give any trades um, more reputation than they need. Moving on to CAD JPY. So CAD JPY, what do we have here on the daily? This is a daily time frame trade. We moved, we had a double bottom on the support. So we had a double bottom here on the support. We, we made a new higher low. So a double bottom, higher low, higher low. Uh, we pretty much... We took out this previous high here and this high, so that's good. So now we, we're bouncing off this resistance. We need price to come back into this neutral. This here look, pretty much looks like a pretty big accumulation area overall. You can see price is kind of um, accumulating here right now. You can see it's kind of bouncing or really here in between these two. You can see it's kind of bouncing back and forth. So you, we are buying pretty high in this range. So, but it is, it is an accumulation. So, you know, as long as local stays up, we should be going higher. Um, but you can see it is kind of consolidating. So we're buying at the top of the consolidation, which sometimes is a little riskier. So that's that's the only thing you got to be aware of this trade is we're buying at the highs. And what I do like is that we do have this double bottom and we're making higher higher lows here and higher highs. So that's that's how we can see okay, it's it's becoming more bullish in this accumulation, um, which then we should which you go to this resistance uh, and the potential to this resistance here but uh, as well um if you if you're entering with three positions you could even try you know if you let's say you've, you've been trading these for a little while you got a little more confidence in these trades you got more you got some experience with strategy mode already if you want you can play um you can take one position further up to this resistance up here if that's something you want to do like your last position leave it as a runner at break even um just to um, get some more, some more um, profits out like that. That's something you can do as well. Here we got AOD CAD on the daily as well. Uh, it's looking quite fine for me. Um, we had a push away from the support. Now we're now above the neutral. We took out these highs over here. So we took these guys out. Great. Um, we broke out of this accumulation here. Perfect. And now we're pushing up into the next resistance. So for me, this is a good trade to set up. Uh, just make sure you're not overexposed. Uh, right where you're going to be setting up quite a few trades today so make sure you're not overexposing yourself on on the same currencies and even if they're different currencies make sure you don't have to win trades open because sometimes even when you got currencies open that are not correlated at all sometimes the forex market can do the same thing on all currencies so make a rule for yourself to not have like more than five or more than six trades open so if you do hit stop loss you know you're not gonna blow up your account so or you're not gonna suffer a big loss uh because at the end of the day you know we humans it's harder to trade if there's too much pressure so you don't well, you don't want to be able to be in a position where you have too many trades open and when you go into drawdown you're going to make stupid mistakes just because you can't handle the drawdown so find a good sweet number where we can say okay this is a good number i can work with you know, it's not too much it's not too little i can really manage this and you know if 3.5 percent per trade is too much you can always lower your risk right so you can go to the settings of the algorithm and then lower, lower your risk Per trade if that's something you want to do um you know you got to find a sweet spot for yourself these are just the settings that we set as, as a default which works for most people but if you're if you can't really feel the algorithm yet and you just need to get used to these trades you know just lower your risk you know it's something you can do and so you can increase it as you get more used to the to the, to the algorithm um especially when you're trading live so you know we're at the end of the day we're humans we we have to take things step by step there's no need to rush into things you know we're, this thing is going to be around for for a very long time so and the markets you know, they're not gonna just disappear so don't worry about making money just worry about taking really good trades um and really good, getting good at the psychology so this aud cat looks good let's move on to euro aud this is a short swing on daily setup as well uh this is a really good short that i actually like um and the reason for that is because we broke out of this support here you can see 
um, we had quite a few bounces here before and then we finally broke that level so it was a level that held up pretty pretty well now we just need to come back for the retest so again guys if you knew you know it would look like sometimes we're hit tp right so probably gonna hit tp here first and then price will go up into entry that would be the first entry um which is totally fine that's the, the nature of our trading that's how the methodology works we always enter when price is below our sell limits or below our entry for shorts I always enter um, when price is above our entry for buys so this is completely normal if you know don't, don't think you know you missed a trade set it up and then just let the thing run um i believe we also covered this one previously last week you can see this level has been holding for quite some time and then finally broke out so now the global collapse the local collapsed everything looks good so moving on to gbp chf so this this is one of those trades i i don't like too much um just because personally when when we're when i'm in a range like this i personally just like to stay away uh especially when i'm entering in the middle of a range so the middle of the range would be this here right so this would be the middle of the range so we've got our resistance up here we've got a support down here and the middle the neutral will be here in the middle um neutrals are, are fine don't get me wrong but when we're in a tight consolidation like this i do try to try to avoid those so um for me this is not a trade i want to take it's just too tight so this is a trade i would personally skip because of the consolidation and because i'm entering on this neutral if i'll be there are some trades like this with strategy mode where you're going to be buying on a support like this like here or here and those are fine because you're buying the bottom of the, of that market uh, but buying the middle for me is just something i don't want to do so gbp gbp chf is something i'd skip moving on to atvi this is an equity trade on the us stocks um so it looks like it just hit our entry on the close here um looks like we're moving up quite a bit so we had a pullback here now we're in for the continuation and we should be moving up all the way to this resistance so if you can get entry here i would say take it if not no big deal there's other trades looks like it's already taken off but it, can't, it could come back for a double bottom what i've noticed in the stock market you don't see too many double bottoms uh, especially when it's trending you, you, once it takes off it'll just take off so uh, you can skip this trade for now if you're in this trade congratulations good job you already hit tp1 if not um I, I would skip this trade for now Okay, so we got Bank of America. We covered this one last week as well. Let's see what the progress is like. We, yeah, we broke out of this. Um, or it might have been a little different trade, actually. I'm not, I don't quite remember. But yeah, we broke we broke out of this support. So we broke out of here. Um, and we just need to come back up for the retest. And then the continu continuation down. So, you know, it is a BOC. Um, you could classify it as a BOC. It says swing, but it is almost a BOC. And yeah, it looks fine to me. You can see we were consolidating here on this level for quite some time. So this was a consolidation. You can see we've been bouncing around this level for quite some time since April all the way to December. So now we broke out. We had a nice gap down into the $25 level. And now we're just looking for pullback into the $25.78 level. And from there, continue going down. So yeah looks looks fine to me this is a trade you can set up if you trade equities baidu is also something we looked at last week it looks like we actually came down for the entry in baidu so we came down for the entry here and now we hit tp1 and we're going for tp2 um yeah it looks looks fine to me uh so by now this trade you know it's probably done probably not going to set this up anymore again if these stocks take off they just take off so probably, probably not going to come back for a double bottom next up we're looking at cisco and this guy also hit right hit her entry in tp1 now we're looking for tp2 this one you could set up the, this one has a little more probability for a double bottom just because we haven't broken the previous high yet so it might come down for the retest and then break it you'll see that happen a lot of times uh, where it's kind of like accumulating and then it'll break so for example here you can see here we had a double bottom and then we broke right so you'll have that sometimes as well of course you know but this looks like a fine trade to me yeah this looks like a good tp2 i've been really trying to take it past this level because this is our previous high and global looks to be slowing down a little bit as well local still above it which is good but you want to be careful of this if you zoom out a little bit you can see we are still um, kind of in this downtrend like this so right now it's accumulating probably to to break out to the top here like this and from there we'll see what happens so yeah this this is a trade i would i would set up um it'll just have to come down for the double bottom fcx had a nice breakout so fcx we broke out of this consolidation here and now we're looking to come back for the retest here and then take it back up this looks like a really straightforward tr trade 
it's been on a nice bullish uptrend so now we're just looking for the pullback which i think is possible and yeah not much to to explain here looks pretty straightforward next up we got fits for shorts so shorts i'll be careful especially on a low stock like this on a on a mini like not a mini but it's six dollars so it's not super um developed yet you can see it's also in this consolidation but shorting stocks you, you want to be a little more careful than, than buying stocks just because of the nature how stocks work so this one personally i wouldn't short this just because we're in a consolidation like this um even though you're getting kind of the top of it it's it's fine but again shorting stocks i don't know it's just it's not always the best thing to do especially one that's volatile like this with it's only sitting at six dollars so this thing could just break out to the top um so you can see we had a push up we, we came in bullish in this consolidation lots of times it also break up bullish so i mean with fitbit you know people are going lockdowns everything like that again so it might do a drop but i think there's a lot safer place you can play right now next up we got jp morgan jpm here we also had a nice breakout so we have this minor consolidation here and right now we broke previous high here so now we're just looking for pullback and then the continuation further up we did hit this previous high as well so tp1 i think is doable tp2 uh would be the more cautious but tp2 so once you hit tp1 make sure to move to break even on your trade make sure you pre protect your profits on tp1 just because we were at this we now hit this high so you know we might have we might see some more sell pressure coming here just because this looks we had a really big move here previously as well so now we're back in that level we're back at back at this level here so we might come down into this level again here go to tp1 and then fall back down we don't know but that's that's a very common pattern you'll see so tp1 is has a, has a high probability tp2 not so much so just move to break even once you hit tp2 i mean you would do that anyway but just a reminder for you guys if you haven't read the handbook yet make sure to download that you can access the handbook in the community chat or inside the week two if you're in the global chat just type in handbook and a grace will send it to you it has everything all the rules all the strategy which i mean the strategy t steps written out for you print it out put it on your desktop what you want and then just go through it every time you take a trade make sure you're doing everything correct and it also teaches you how to manage trades. So a uh, really good book to read. And if you guys have questions, you can always put them into the global chat. Okay, moving on to PFE. This is the last trade in our setups today. Let's see what PFE is doing. PFE, uh, it's another short, basically on support. Uh, we don't want a short support. You can see this is kind of our support um, area here. If you can see it's very choppy around these levels too. Um, yeah, it's 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 not a deal. So I, I don't... And you can see it's a small range too. For me personally, I don't think it's worth risking a trade for you know a small range like this, especially when you're selling so close to these lows. If you're selling you know up here on this neutral, that would be much better, or even less resistance because then you're you're selling from a higher price point. This year you're basically selling at the bottom of these lows, so it's not ideal. Similar to what we have with a different setup today. So this is a trade I would skip personally. Just wait for a better setup. We got plenty of setups this week to to wait for to set up. I'm excited to see how it goes. If you guys have questions, put them into the chat, into the global chat, and or if you're not in the chat, just put them into the comments down below, and we'll make sure to help you guys out. Make sure to join the weekly Q and A's. They happen every Monday, and that's where you can also ask questions. If you get triggered into a trade, you don't know what to do, you have questions about strategy mode, maybe about the navigator, you can you can join that Q and A and then uh, answer any questions. Or if you just want to speak to me. Uh, go through some charts, look at some trades. That's a really cool session to join us. Well. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Hope you have a good week. Very excited to see some of these setups play out for the week. Again, if you guys have questions, put them in the comments, join the global chat, and uh, I'll see you guys in the Q&A hopefully tomorrow. And then we'll go over some cool stuff and post the trades into the global chat. So if you take something, if you, need, if you need to review something, or if you have questions about a certain trade, always post the screen, screenshots into the group. It's always a good habit to go into because maybe you're doing something wrong. Maybe you're not doing it correctly. By you know going through these trades, posting them into the group, you can get feedback from other people. So it's a cool thing that you can do to you know engage with the other traders in the group and get feedback on your trades. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.